Unibright is bigger than you know. What's going on guys? Randy here with another daily crypto video. If you like daily content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and hit the bell notification so you get notified when I post new content. Win $100 worth of Bitcoin between March 23rd and April 23rd. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment on each video. Every comment will give you a better chance to win, so if you comment on only two videos, you have two chances to win. If you comment on 20 videos, you have a better chance to win the $100 of Bitcoin. All right, I'm gonna get into Unibright today. This project is insane, and I don't think anyone's really noticing the potential of Unibright, and I'm gonna put it in layman's terms for you here. All right, we're at Unibright's website right now, and Unibright in Base Ledger is Enterprise Blockchain Solutions from Germany. Unibright is a team of blockchain specialists, architects, developers, and consultants with 20 plus years of experience in business, processes, and integration. We offer Base Ledger, the blockchain for baselining, consulting, low code integration tools, programmable DeFi, in the universal business token. Now I know it sounds like a bunch of typical crypto mumbo jumbo, but I'm gonna break it down. So you're gonna find out after this, what is base ledger? What is baselining? What is the universal business token and the importance of it all? Okay, so first off, what is the Unibright token, UBT? Basically our token is a voucher to use the framework. Without the voucher, you could not use it. Who wants to use the framework has to buy vouchers from those who own them. Additionally, UBT tokens can be used to pay for our workshops and services in terms of consulting and development. So U UBT was started by Martin Jung and Stefan Schmidt. The universal business token is a reference to it being the only token a business client would ever need. In 2019, Unibright revealed they were working on a security tokenization template called Frequity, which includes components for security, token definition, issuance, exchange, and liquidity derivatives, portfolio, big data, custodian services, and, and integrations with existing software. In 2020, Unibright joined the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance, heading the Eminent Task Force. With Chainlink and AnyBlack Analytics, Unibright also joined the Baseline Protocol as a founding member and a member of the Technical Steering Committee. Okay, so remember Baseline Protocol and Unibright is a founding member alongside other companies such as AMD, Ernst & Young, Chainlink, Core Convergence, Consensus, Duke University, Envision Blockchain, MakerDAO, Microsoft, and Neokova, Splunk, Provide, and WebCloud. So here's a little bit about the baseline protocol. Consensus' John Wolpert, who was also on the founding team of Hyperledger Fabric, explained what baseline is and isn't. This is not a platform. It's not a product. It's not a coin, a token. It is a way of using the mainnet that will be acceptable, we think, to very conservative corporate CSOs, chief security officers, CIO, CTOs, where they can finally say, yep, it's okay to use the mainnet in this way. And when they say mainnet, we're talking about Ethereum. The baseline protocol offers a set of tools that enables not just the transactions to be private, but also the logic or smart contracts and the communications between parties. And it allows for a granular, level of privacy. Okay, and this is this is what is huge to all the head honchos in these massive corporate enterprises. They want to know that they're going to that they're going to save money and that their data is going to be private. And that's what baseline protocol is ensuring. That's what they're coming together to do is to make it easy and safe for enterprises to use to store their information on Ethereum on the blockchain. Through this work on the baseline protocol, Unibright has formed close working relationships with a number of key players. Among the most notable is Provide.Services. Martin and Stefan joined the Provide team and Provide committed to integrating the UBT token as the only payment token for their tech stack, effectively merging the two companies. You have some important information right here, okay? Provide is part of the baseline protocol which now join forces with UBT, and the UBT token will be used by Provide. is the only payment token for their tech stack. Now, a little bit about Provide. Provide has been focused on designing the first production-ready implementation of the baseline protocol for the past year. During this time, the concept of a unified distributed architecture 
has become very powerful. Shuttle is still what it set out to be in November 2019, a workgroup and infrastructure orchestration product. It just so happens the workgroups are baseline enabled and the infrastructure orchestrator is ready for global enterprise scale. We invested in building scalable production ready services for some pretty hard problems facing the blockchain community. Our zero knowledge privacy product provide privacy serves as an effective layer two in the baseline context. We also find ourselves with deep expertise in the enterprise integration space thanks to our partnership with Unibright. Now they speak about this shuttle, okay? And, and shuttle is an integral part of this whole baselining project. Okay, notable client projects commenced including Coke One North America. The year concluded with Unibright and Provide presenting initial work and use cases for these clients at the baseline as a service demo day event. During this event, Kona, which is Coke One North America, expressed praise for the rate of progress and that they intended to go live with their solution from Unibite Bright Provide in early 2020 in early 2021. And this is a huge client for Unibright for Provide and ultimately the baseline protocol. This article is from March 23rd, 2020. Cola is one of the most popular drinks in the world anyway, and Coca-Cola one of the most famous brands. More than 1.9 billion servings of Coca-Cola are sold worldwide every day in more than 200 countries. Logistically, this is a big task and accordingly an interesting supply chain. And this is where Unibright and Provide come in. They're providing logistic and supply chain services to these massive enterprises, none bigger than Coca-Cola, this worldwide juggernaut for soft drinks. New technologies support an efficient supply chain. With the help of technology, such as warehouse automation, the company wants to continuously improve its supply chain management. Diversification and personalization of the portfolio are also important issues which the company intends to pursue through the use of new technologies. A current example of the use of new technologies in the supply chain of Coca-Cola is blockchain. At present, there are still many intermediaries in the communication in cooperation with the partners which slow down the processes and thus make them cost intensive. As part of the cooperation with the technology company SAP, which is also a partner of Unibright, Coca-Cola wants to optimize the cooperation with its partners and the 160,000 orders per day, create more transparency and reduce costs using blockchain technology. Coca-Cola already uses an IT platform specifically for the communication of the bottlers. For example, if a partner has a bottleneck, it can purchase the quantities from another partner. With blockchain, Coca-Cola expects to reduce the duration of order reconciliation from 50 days to just a few days, that's massive. I mean, for, for a big enterprise like that, that could be potentially millions of dollars. An inter-organizational, transparent distributed ledger will give real-time insights into the transactions made by all the different bottlers on the network, which generates over $21 billion in revenue per year. So you could see why a company like Coca-Cola wants to use blockchain, who's leading the way in blockchain baselining? Of course, it's UBT. The baseline is a service product offering is now named Shuttle. And the first live version was recently released. Live demos are set to follow this release. The first is planned to involve ServiceNow. So this is on Reddit via a tweet from the Crypto Fiend about a month ago. Provide Platform alongside Unibright announced their new client ServiceNow. ServiceNow is a software company that offers a cloud computing platform to help companies manage digital workflows for enterprise operations. With 6,200 plus clients worldwide, here's just a few. CEO of Provide Platform with Unibright announced new client service now who works with companies such as 7-Eleven, Deloitte, AAA Travel, Adidas, Discover Card, MGM Studios, MAS, NBA, Overstock, Wayfair, YMCA, Metro by T-Mobile, 2020 revenue, $4.5 billion. If ServiceNow is not a massive company, I don't know what is. Unibright has partnered with them along with Provide. In February 2021, the Base Ledger white paper was released. Okay, now you have Unibright, Provide, who are now, they're one and the same. Also, we know that Provide also uses the UBT token. And then you have the baseline protocol, which a founding member is Unibright. And of course, Provide is part of that as well. Now you have this other entity called Base Ledger. In February 2021, the Base Ledger white paper was released. It's a blockchain built with one purpose, baselining. Most importantly for the UBT token holders was that Base Ledger 
would use UBT as its native token, okay? Let me read that again. UBT token holders, this is important to you. That base ledger would use the UBT token as its native token and also introduce a staking mechanism. Other notable points from the white paper included that it will use Tendermint. So to kind of recap what baseline and base ledger is, Unibright plays a major role in developing the baseline protocol, which is an open source initiative that combines advances in cryptography, messaging, and blockchain to deliver secure and private business processes at low cost via a public blockchain acting as a middleware. Unibright builds Base Ledger, a public council governed blockchain that fulfills the key demands of companies and overcomes the drawbacks of existing blockchains in terms of enterprise and baseline usability. Now, and I think that's one of the reasons why the Unibright and the UBT token is undervalued at the moment, is when you read articles about baseline protocol and base ledger, people aren't seeing that Unibright is an integral part of, of all this. So you have UBT token being used for, for base ledger, you have the UBT token being used for provide, and Unibright's a key component of the baseline protocol. And I don't, I don't think a lot of people realize that. They don't, they don't see that, that that UBT, Unibright, is right in the middle. I mean, they're, they're one of the most integral parts of this whole web. So UBT will remain an ERC-20 token. It will have incredibly high TPS, fixed transaction costs, cross-chain utility, with a strong focus on business processes rather than DeFi. For example, Kona could use Base Ledger for baselining, but could then release their tokenized invoices on Ethereum, Hedera, or Polkadot. Rather uniquely, it will be GDPR compliant. And GDPR compliance has been, I guess, a huge factor in clients being interested in this whole baselining project. Okay, as the compliance officers at large corporations are overcautious of putting data on blockchains, base ledger is one of the biggest topics on 2021 for Unibright and Provide, but not their singular focus. The teams are continuing to onboard real paying clients, which is their number one priority. And that's key right there, real paying clients. This is Unibright's and provides a roadmap for 2021, and it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Uncovered by Chico Crypto via prior.ubt. In this slide, okay, it says customer growth, $650 million in tokenized invoices in 2021. Mind you, this is only April. $100 million per year in operational cost savings, 97% reduction in disputes. Ecosystem will include as many as 68 independent bottlers in North America with ambition to expand globally. I don't know if you realize the scope of, of just Coca-Cola alone and the money that's been saved and it's it's insane. To look at this roadmap for the rest of 2021 and beyond, we I already spoke about ServiceNow. They're next to get baselined. Microsoft, Ernst & Young, Google, Google, Accenture, and then end of 2021 into 2022, is target come on now crypto projects explode based on partnerships and these are some of the biggest names in in all of enterprise right here that unibright provide and base ledger will be working with people get excited for theta and uh, the samsung partnership this is this could be even bigger all right so taking a look at unibright over on coin gecko so unibright is number 189 rank by market cap, it's a $323 million project at the moment, $2.16 per token. There is 150 million circulating supply. Max supply is 150 million. Okay, <laughs> so you're not gonna get dumped on it in a, in a week because, because founders unlocked more tokens. 150 million circulating supply. Max supply, 150 million. Unibright had a couple small run-ups here. Nothing nothing insane, though. I mean, uh, way undervalued at the moment. It looks like some, some steady, healthy growth. It had an all-time high only four days ago of $2.35. But this project has so much room to run, it's crazy. Now, right now, you can get Unibright on Uniswap, Second BTC, Bitrix Global, Bancor Network, Hit BTC, QuickSwap, One Inch, Kyber Network. So you notice that there's no Binance here. There's no KuCoin yet, and of course, uh, no Coinbase. But that's a, that's going to get me into my next topic here real quick. So back in October 1st of 2020, UBT confirmed for Coinbase custody, deepening partnership with Provide to enable the universal business token. Andrew Robinson, institutional sales and trading manager of Coinbase, states, We are happy to welcome Unibright to the Coinbase ecosystem, including UBT in Coinbase custody, now provides Unibright's clients in the end entire enterprise blockchain environment. 
institutional grade custody solutions for their crypto assets as well as we work together to drive the adoption of real world blockchain use cases. Even Coinbase sees the potential of Unibright and UBT in driving real world adoption with these enterprises. Now taking a look at, at Coinbase Custody. Coinbase Custody is a cold storage regulated custody for heavy hitters. So you have to have a minimum balance of $500,000 and implementation fees up to $10,000. So these big corporations and these big enterprises that are, that are starting to use Unibright, they need this UBT token. They can go to Coinbase Custody and store their UBT with Coinbase. And why is this significant? Well, take a look at these assets here that Coinbase Custody now, that they now offer. You're going to notice that 95% of the coins listed on Coinbase Pro are already on Coinbase Custody. So what does that mean for UBT? That when Coinbase does add new coins, they're more like add something that's already part of the Coinbase Custody. Now, I'm not saying that UBT is going to get listed on Coinbase, but it's a better possibility to get listed off of Coinbase Custody, then it is just a random coin getting listed. Good for UBT to be kind of part of that, that mix already. And of course, obviously that would be massive for Unibright and the UBT token to get listed on Coinbase someday. So taking a look at UBT, where do I think it will hit in, in 2021, at the peak of this bull run, whether it's this year or next year? Let's take a look at the top 100 cryptocurrencies because that's where I feel UBT belongs right now. With 150 million circulating supply, if it was a top three cryptocurrency in the spot of Binance Coin, you're looking at a $400 UBT token that's based off circulating supply, which is very similar to BNB. And this is very realistic within even the next few weeks. Is a top 97 valuation, which would put UBT at about $6 and 31 cents very similar to one inches circulating supply but even better in the spot of pancake swap which is at number 39 a 24 dollar ubt that's where it probably should be right now and that's how undervalued unibright is at the moment even at number 79 it could be a, an eight to nine dollar coin if it made it to that point peak of the bull run this is at minimum a hundred dollar coin no doubt it could go higher but to be conservative unibright all the partnerships they have, the massive connections with the baseline protocol, it's at minimum a $100 cryptocurrency. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think, where do you think Unibright will hit this year, 2021, at the peak of the bull run? How high will Unibright get? Also, thanks for sharing the videos. Make sure to share this video on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever you can on social media so more people see the power of Unibright and how massive it really is. Also be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Get up to $250 of free Bitcoin when you fund your BlockFi account. There are no lockup periods, so you can release your funds at any time. Earn up to 8.6% APY on USDC, BTC, ETH, Link, and Litecoin. At the peak of the bull run, I'll be cashing out into USDC and earning 8.6% interest and also buying back in during the bear market. If you want to do the same, be sure to click the link down below in the description or the comment section to set up your BlockFi account.